Hey everyone, so this week I've been adding AliExpress products to my dropshipping store. So I thought I'd make this video to talk you through how it's been going for me. So as I mentioned in my video last week, I am going to be expanding my existing Shopify store and adding dropshipping products from AliExpress onto the store alongside t-shirts and other clothing items that are there um, and being supplied by Printful. So it's gonna be a print on demand store with the clothing side of things. And also it's gonna hold physical products that are drop shipped from AliExpress from China. So uh, a bigger store than beforehand. So in order to build the store out from the existing t-shirt store, what it was, I needed to start adding dropshipping products from AliExpress. So here's basically the steps I've been going through in order to get those products onto my site. So the first step I took in changing my Shopify store is I actually reintroduced a password lock on my storefront. Uh, so if you go to my website, www.smilemerch.com, you will see that you now need a password to be able to see what products and what the store looks like at the moment. Um, you're basically seeing a, a gated uh, landing page and you can only go through to the actual store if you know the password. And the reason I've done that is I don't want um, people landing on the store when it's sort of halfway through development or when I'm still test like deciding if the niche I'm putting products on there with is the niche I'm gonna go for. I don't want people to see a half finished store. So I'm putting the store on lockdown until I've filled it up with these new products with the new inventory that I'm gonna go with and it's ready to be uh, released to the public and have Facebook ads driving traffic to it. So after I lock down the site and it's ready to make changes, the next step was to find products that I want to add to my site. So this involves basically brainstorming my niche that I have been uh, talking about the last few weeks. You know, I've been giving you tips on how to research a niche and sort of the identifiers I'm looking for in a potential niche uh, to identify if it's got potential or not and to actually go forward with that niche. So once I've had some ideas on what niche I'm gonna go with, I had to go to AliExpress and find those products and decide if they're gonna work for my store or not. So I've got a goal of finding 10 to 20 products from AliExpress that fall within the niche that I have decided to experiment with and put them onto my site. So as I explained in an earlier video, one of my early dropshipping attempts, I only had three products on the store. And a lot of feedback I got from you guys is that store didn't look legitimate with only three products. It didn't look like a trustworthy store. So this time round, I wanna have a lot more products on the site so that anyone that lands on the website, they get the impression that I am, you know, a respectable retailer, that I've got a lot of infantry, and that I'm not just a random, dodgy site that's popped up that could potentially steal your credit card details. I wanna look like I mean serious business. So I think 10 to 20 products is a good starting point to give that impression of a big store. Um, and it also doesn't take too much time to add those products in from AliExpress. So I'm gonna try and get a inventory of 10 to 20 different products on my site. And I'm probably only gonna test between two and four of those initially, to see if any of them sell. It means It doesn't mean like you have to set up a Facebook ad for each of those 10 to 20 products but I wanted to have those products on there so that if a person decides to go off my individual product page and browse through the store in general, they're gonna see a lot of product choice and it's gonna give the impression of a legitimate, respectable retailer. So once I found like 10 to 20 products that I'm gonna go with, I then started to break those products down into categories. And the reason I'm doing this is for the navigation of the website. So, on my home page and on the top menu bar, I'm gonna have the general niche, the general um, product range that these products fall within. But when someone clicks on that top level uh, navigation in the menu, I want them to have like a breakdown of more refined categories. So an example of this is say on amazon.com, you can look at uh, computing hardware. You click on the main category, click computing, and that will then open up a lot of different subcategories. So you're gonna see laptops, um, cables and accessories, and monitors. So I wanted to um, identify these subcategories that I'm gonna have within my site so I can plan sort of a navigation structure so that when I start to add these products from AliExpress, I can tag them with the right tag so that they fall into the right subcategory of my navigation. So I've been thinking about what categories I can create from the 10 to 20 products um, that I've identified initially and made those categories so that I have these clear areas on my site that the products can fall within. So once I had the idea of 10 to 20 products and I've got my categories that I want the products to fall within on my website, 
I then have to start adding them from AliExpress to my site. And I spoke last week about an amazing plugin to Shopify, an amazing tool that I use to add these products onto AliExpress. And that tool is the plugin that's called Aburlo. So what Aburlo does is it basically, it lets you add products from AliExpress onto your store with one click. It's so easy to use. They give you a Google Chrome um, extension that you can install into your um, Google Chrome browser. And whenever you go onto AliExpress and you go into a catalog page, so say you do a search, or you're just browsing through the categories, you'll see a new icon appear on the AliExpress website that lets you do a one click ad from AliExpress onto your Shopify store. So I installed this plugin last week and I spoke about it briefly, but this week I've been really configuring a burlo to make it work to my advantage, to, to be able to get exactly what I want from it. So an example of how I've done that is, there's a feature of a Burlo called Auto Updates. And what this basically does is, it monitors any changes on AliExpress on that product page that the merchant's created, any changes in price or inventory, and it also feeds that information back to your site. <clears throat> so I've basically set my um, Aburlo plugin on Shopify to detect if a product goes out of stock or disappears from AliExpress. And if that happens, it automatically tells my Shopify site to stop selling that product. This is amazing because I initially made my first dropshipping site on WordPress and there was no way my WordPress site spoke to um, AliExpress. So I would have to, in theory, check those products every day to make sure they were still available on AliExpress, the retailers that existed, um, and in order to be able to keep selling that. But with this uh, plugin, Aburlo, with plugging into Shopify, it does that automatically in the background, which is amazing. It also does things like um, it checks for price changes on AliExpress. So I spoke uh, in one of my videos, the Q&A videos that I did uh, in the week about pricing. Um, and basically what Aburlo lets you do is it lets you set up a multiplier. Um, so you can basically set this multiplier up so that when you add a product from AliExpress, say that product costs $2, you can add a multiplier on that um, original cost from AliExpress to set the price that you want to sell it for on your website. So say for instance you set a multiplier of three times. If the product costs $2 on uh, AliExpress, when you click to add it with a Burlo, a Burlo will automatically set that price at $6 on your Shopify store. So it will times the original $2 by three and set it for $6. So I've been going away and thinking about what price uplift, what multiplier or what I want to set on the products that I find on Shopify. So I've got a rough idea what I wanna set now, so I've been going into a Burlo, playing with that, and setting up for when I move forward and I mass add products onto my Shopify store from AliExpress. Finally, what I've been doing with the Burlo is I've been playing with the Chrome extension. So what you can do with the Chrome extension when you're browsing on Google Chrome on the actual AliExpress website, you can set it to filter um, results. So I know that I wanna send my products to America using the e-packet delivery method. And what this does is it's a real cheap delivery method to send products from China to America in the short, one of the shortest amounts of time. So I know that I wanna use e-packet and I wanna only buy from merchants on AliExpress that use e-packet as a delivery option. So what I can do with my Google Chrome extension in uh, AliExpress is I can click on the Aburlo uh, Google Chrome extension, and I can tell it to only show me merchants on the AliExpress website that supports e-packet delivery. So that's exactly what I've done. So setting up my search results um, using the Google Chrome extension for Aburlo, changing the auto updates so that if a product changes on AliExpress, it changes on my site, and also setting the pricing rules is the main three things I've been doing with the Aburlo plugin this week in order to make adding products from AliExpress to my Shopify store super easy in the future. Um, so I spoke about Aburlo last week, I really recommend it. I'll put a link below for you guys to um, install that plugin into Shopify and use it on your stores if you're interested. I'd really recommend it. And finally, I've been exploring the shipping and pricing um, around my products. So I briefly mentioned pricing earlier, and I spoke about it in one of the Q&A videos that I did this week, so which I'll link you to, but I'm gonna make a future video really diving into pricing and the different pricing categories I'm gonna be doing and um, the multipliers and all of that stuff later on, so keep an eye out for that. But I wanna briefly touch on pricing, and in particular, shipping. So with a lot of my products, I want to do an offer on my AliExpress site that offers, um, it basically offers the product for free, 
but all the customer has to pay for is shipping. I've learned from dropshipping gurus such as Till Boadella and other um, dropshipping masters on YouTube that the free product giveaway, you only pay for shipping, that offer is a really um, lucrative incentive for customers and it can potentially drive a lot of conversions, a lot of purchases on your site. So it's an offer that I really want to do on my website. Um, but I've hit a bit of a setback with the Shopify shipping um, settings. So with Shopify, I basically found out that you can't set the, sit the shipping price per item. You can only set it per order. So what I'm basically not able to do is I'm not able to say for each product you order, it's going to cost you, for example, $5. So if you order one product, it's going to cost you a $5 shipping fee. If you order three products, it will cost you 15 There's no way of doing that in Shopify. The only thing you can really do is say, no matter how many products you order, it's going to cost you this much shipping. And you can set price ranges. So you can say if your order is between $5 and $15, it will cost you $5 for shipping. If it's between $15 and $30, it will cost you $20 for shipping. But you can't set a price for shipping per product, which completely ruins my plan of doing a free product giveaway, only play for shipping um, offer through Facebook ads. Because if I say it's $5 for shipping, it won't matter if the person orders one free product or five, it's still going to cost them $5. It's not going to multiply that $5 by five to get to $25 that I'm after. So I'm hitting a, a, hit a real spanner in the works here. I'm exploring alternatives and what I can do to get around this, but it may mean that I have to change my promotion plan to not be a product giveaway plus um, only pay shipping. I might have to move to a different pricing structure. Um, so if anyone knows of a workaround around this, like a way that I can do um, delivery pricing per item rather than per order, I'd really love to hear from you because I've really hit um, a crossroads here. I I'm, I'm don't really know what I'm going to do and I need to step back, do a bit of Googling and maybe change my plan completely. So if you guys know of a way that I can still do my product giveaway, only pay for shipping per item, that would really help me out. Um, and it's been something that's really been amazing with this channel so far, is you guys, you share information with me that I don't even know. You know, I'm trying to give information back to you guys that I learn along the way of this journey of trying to make a success of e-commerce. But there are people watching this that are way more experienced than me, and you've taught me a lot through this channel. So I really appreciate that. Keep it coming. Like I really love the way this community comes together to help each other out. And if you do have any, any information on um, how to get around this shipping per item problem I'm having, I'd really be all ears. I'd really like to hear what you've got to say. So thanks for watching guys. That's my um, journey over the last week of how I've been adding products to my Shopify store. In the next few weeks, I'm going to talk about redesigning my store. Uh, I'll go into the pricing uh, breakdown in more detail. I'm also going to be installing Google Analytics onto my store, so I'll be talking you through that, how I do it, what I'm trying to track, and um, all of the technical parts of that. And also, I'm going to be setting a budget on how much I'm going to spend on advertising, how much I'm going to spend on the Shopify monthly um, fee, all of that stuff, like the budget I'm going to set um, that I can sort of allow myself to spend before I deem this potentially not working and move on. So make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. The channel is called Start Starting Up, where I explore online business ideas every week, just like I am at the moment with uh, this Shopify dropshipping uh, project I'm working on. I share with you what's worked and what's not, so you can learn from my mistakes and also my potential successes. And I also have a newsletter that comes out every two weeks. Um, you can sign up to that on my website, startstartingup.com. Just go onto the homepage, pop your email address in the email box, and I'll send you an email every second Friday with the latest articles and videos in the world of dropshipping, the latest ideas that are being thrown around, useful tools and resources that I use to make money that have worked for me. And also I give you updates on my um, projects, share with you what's working for me at the moment and also tell you what's not worked and what potentially you should avoid. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and the newsletter. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for my daily videos where I answer your question and answers and also every Thursday for my general updates like this. Thanks again, guys. Bye.